Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this is Fernando with TXWay.org and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, a cool product that just came out actually probably a few months ago from EchoWit. Um, EchoWit is a company that makes uh, weather system products. But what I like about what EchoWit has been doing is that on this new series they just barely launched a, uh, a few months ago is that they they came out with a wireless gateway and this wireless gateway, this is what I'm actually holding right now, this wireless gateway is able to pair with lots of sensors. Sensors such as the uh, air module. This uh, is a uh, PM 2.5 air quality module that can read uh, particle models of 2.5 um, and I think up to 10. I'm not too sure about that but uh, we'll be testing it. I've been running it already for a few days. That's why this is already uh, unboxed and, uh, and with the batteries installed because I actually went ahead and unboxed it and put it all in, in places to just you know give it a good test so it's been running for probably about four days now but um, here we have the uh, outdoor temperature and humidity sensor one thing I do want to say about this sensor um, is that it's actually not meant for direct sunlight as you can see this is something that needs to be under a roof or a shaded area but um, overall it's a really good sensor and actually keeps up pretty much probably minus 0.5 keeps up with my Davis Vantage view and my Davis Pro 2 and pretty much at par with the Oregon scientific temperature sensors that I got out there it is pretty good it's, it's really accurate so I really like that and then over here we got the rain gauge this is uh, a rain gauge it does not come with the panel this one that I got right here I'm not gonna be reviewing the panel I'm just gonna be reviewing the, the, the rain gauge the rain gauge actually pairs with their new uh, gateway module this this is really cool I really I'm really impressed by this just not right now in the market there's nothing like this there's nothing out there that is such as compact as as this gateway module this basically you can hook it up uh, to any USB port cell phone charger wherever you would like to plug it in you just plug it in and it just gets power this is this is not used for anything else but power I think that the app the application that you install on Windows can actually talk to the USB port to configure the wireless uh, your wireless network into the into the module but other than that there's not much more done with the USB port for example I actually had had it plugged in into my TP-Link uh, MR router that I use for my weather data logger which is uh, I use Mateo Bridge and that's that's what I had this plugged in and actually the USB port for power and it works I mean it worked amazingly well it's just pretty awesome so one of the things that I like by this is that this is actually compatible with pretty much all the, the wireless modules that they have via uh, RF signal and it's also compatible with uh, their uh, ISS units so the all in one units the, there is some there that they made specifically that pair with this and what is so cool about this is that you can actually see a broad future with this and so if you buy it now and you're you have these modules I know that they actually have a solar temperature module and they have all their modules coming up that can also pair with this and it gives you the versatility of pretty much go open with any of their sensors that they have out there and and to my understanding uh, some of the people out there are doing some of the crazy stuff like actually finding find offsets modules that are actually RF and pairing it with this. I'm not sure if it's, if it's working or not. I haven't read much about it, but people are doing some really nice stuff with this little gateway. Just for comparison, look, look how small it is. This is a USB cable that came bundled up for charging the PM2.5 module. And uh, it's, 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 it's for comparison, it's, look at that. It's, it's pretty tiny. So I like the footprint of this. This also has an internal temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor as well, which is the barometric pressure. And uh, you can see here the sensor. It's pretty cool. And the range on it, on my testing so far, has been very, very good. I actually had it installed right behind this um, seat, this couch right here, my right, and all the way to my backyard, which well, this is where it was. Probably I'll give it, give it take about 50 feet out. It picked it up just fine. It picked it up just fine. This is one of the cool parts about this um, sensors and this gateway is that they're meant to be pretty much hassle free. Hassle free. I'm about to show you guys the application. Let me get it for you guys. Hassle free. 
basically you hooked up the sensor, the, the gateway, you turn it on, and as soon as you start turning on all your sensors, it finds them right away. Uh, and the application that you'll be installing will be called WSView. This application right here, once you install that application, you, you run it and it'll go through a setup process, which is the first thing you're going to see here. And you select your uh, DW1000 uh, DW gateway. Once you select it, it'll start looking, once you power it up, it start looking for the Wi-Fi setup signal. Uh, this light is, has an LED light right here, it's going to be blinking red uh, fast. It'll find it. It'll ask you, you know, which wireless network you want to pair with. You pair with that wireless network. And once you do, it'll, it'll list you the device. And um, all you have to do with these modules is just turn them on. For example, this one is already on because it runs on a rechargeable battery. And as soon as I, I turned that on, within seconds, I picked up the, the air module and the temperature sensor, temperature humidity sensor. I mean, it was, it was quick. All in all, it took me roughly about... In less than 10 minutes if anything to set everything up the same thing with the rain gauge I actually installed the rain gauge we're about to uh, I'll go out there and show you guys where I installed it I'm about to move it so I can show you guys how to install it as well it picked it up right away no problems I had I, I did not have to go through any complicated setups it was just basically place it turn it on and off you go and so what we're gonna do right now is that I'm gonna show you I'm gonna I'm gonna get power to this and I'm going to show you guys exactly how it works and uh, show you the application and um, how, how well it measures up with uh, my other sensors. Another thing that I really want to mention that I'm really, really excited about this air quality module. This is rated for outdoors. As you can see, it has a solar cell. I wouldn't put this, in my opinion, and, and when, when I say this is solely my opinion, I haven't tested this yet. Um, I have uh, another partner friend of mine who was also also doing a review on this that he put it outdoors got wet and had no issues but given that that this is open for ventilation because that's how it actually has to you know pass the air in and out you have to have ventilations to measure particle matters so I wouldn't per se say that this can hold rains like one, the ones we get here in Texas we have some we get some downpours we can get in less than 30 minutes like an inch of water out of nowhere and so I'm not sure this is good to be out there. Um, it is rated for outdoors. I don't know the definition of what they mean by outdoors. I know for a fact the definition of this mean being outdoors doesn't mean that it's outdoors under direct sunlight. This is meant to be outdoors, you know, shaded. This is not protected by, you know, anything uh, against UV. So it is, um, it seems to be pretty sealed. So it doesn't get water inside the battery compartment, but... I still wouldn't put it on the direct sunlight. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out there, place all my modules where they where they go. I'm gonna show you exactly where I'm gonna place them, and then um, we'll go from there. Okay. One of the things that that I'll be showing you guys is the installation of that, the rain gauge, and how quick it it all gonna be picked up by the system. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. water inside the battery compartment but I still wouldn't put it on the direct sunlight alright guys so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out there place all my modules where they where they go I'm gonna show you exactly where I'm gonna place them and then um, we'll go from there okay one of the things that, that I'll be showing you guys is the installation of that the rain gauge and how quick it, it all gonna be picked up by the system alright guys well I'll see you soon thank you for watching